hope you've been having a great week. So today we're going to be doing bow striped pillows. They add that little extra touch of panache for your bedroom or your living room. The first thing that I did was that I took some scrap fabric, I sewed it together and I sewed a pillow and I stuffed it with sponges so that it's nice and fluffy. The pillow is 53 centimeters by 34 centimeters. Make it in any size that you would like. So after here, we're gonna take striped fabric and we're gonna measure 56 by 37 centimeters. And I'm using a seam allowance of 1.5 centimeters. I'm going to cut three pieces that I'm gonna to stitch together. The one piece that goes in the front and the piece that goes at the back. But that, it's gonna be two pieces and they're gonna overlap each other. And that's how we're gonna put the pillow in since we're not gonna be using a zip. You can use a zip and if you use a zip, then you only need to cut two pieces. Next, we're gonna cut the pieces that go at the back and then on one side only, we're gonna seam the edges so that it doesn't fray. Once you've seen the edges, place the fabric so that it overlaps each other and make sure when you cut the fabric that the stripes align with each other so that it looks seamless. The fabric that overlaps each other should be the same size as the front piece. You're then going to take pins and pin the edges together so that you're able to sew all around the pillow. You're then going to seam all around the pillow so that when you wash the pillowcase it doesn't fray and it doesn't come off. Alternatively you can overlock it if you've got an overlocker. I don't have an overlocker so I just seam the edges by folding the fabric in on itself and sewing all around.
And there you have it, the pillow is done. So now we're gonna take the pillow that I made earlier and I'm gonna stuff it into the pillowcase. And the next step is going to be doing the band that goes in the middle to give the pillow that bow shape. And there you have it, we have our Bowstraps pillow that's done in black and white. Hope you liked the video and if you did, please do like, share and most importantly, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. Until the next time, we'll meet again for another DIY. Have a lovely week. And remember the quote of the week, old ways won't open new doors. So get out of your comfort zone and do that thing that you've always been wanting to do despite how uncomfortable it is. Goodbye. Do subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. See you soon.